what is up beautiful people it's me tara j back again with another one and today as you can see from the title i am here to try out some new wine rosé however okay but before we get into that i do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so go ahead why is my nose so shiny i did just get out the shower so <laughs> but anyways before we get into that, I do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now, subscribe to my channel. Don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you know every time I post a video, okay? But I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it, okay? All right, guys. So here I am. This is my first time ever getting Kim's Crawford Rosé, Illuminate Rosé. It's calories 70 per serving from New Zealand. This is 2020, 70% alcohol. So just to get a little tipsy, I'm probably going to have to drink the whole bottle and I'm cool with that. So yeah, Karen Crawford <clears throat> Illuminate Rosé delivers bright aroma of the watermelon and fresh grapefruit. Mmm, that sounds like it tastes good. Elegant yet full flavored. It's Crips Acidy. It's crisps, 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 acidity, acidity is highlighted with refreshing dry finished. Okay, Kim, I see you. I see you, girl. Well, let's go ahead and try this out and let's see what let's see what we thinking. Don't um, mammy, y'all. I can read. I just be trying to. I don't know what I be trying to do. I'm going to read it straight the next time like a normal person. But I'm not normal. So, like, that's the problem. But let's get into it. Ooh, why is the lighting like this? Like, everything is going wrong. Like, why I look like that? Dang. What is going on? Look, now it's just, like, completely gone. My nose is shiny like the damn Randolph Reindeer. I just say Randolph Reindeer. <laughs> red nose Rudolph. Rudolph the damn red nose Reindeer. Goddamn. Look, y'all see it. Everywhere it moves, it's like a shine. That's that desert essence, y'all. It makes your nose clean. I ain't got no bumps or nothing, but let's pull up. I'm sitting here and I'm watching um this show. This is my first time ever watching this. Let me show y'all what the name of it is called because it's hilarious, actually. It's like weird. The Black Lady Sketch Show. Let me Comment below if you watch that. It's on HBO. It's called The Black Lady Sketch Show, and I'm sitting here watching it. I don't really understand it. Issa Rae was in here, and then the Avion, the comedian that was on um, Instagram, Avion or Yvonne, or I, I'm not sure her last name, but I watched her stand-up comedy show, and it was hilarious. That's how I know she's a comedian. But yeah, her, the two girls from Insecure is in here, and you got some other girls that's in here too. I think one of the girls that are um, one of the main actors was also featured in Insecure in one of the shows, and I'm trying to figure out... A lot of people was in here, like, shout out to the black women all through, up and through here. That's like, that's what's up, what's up. But this is episode one. I'm going to check it out. It's titled, Angela Bassett is the baddest bitch. So, of course, Angela Bassett is in this movie. But Evian is acting like she's the flight attendant. And when I was watching the trailer, I saw Issa in, like, five different looks. Like, she had, like, fresh braids in the back, like she was, like, a gangster or something. Then another one was her, like, just chilling cute smiling looking pretty so i don't know what what kind of stuff is going on up in here but i'm a whole and wait i think lena white i thought i saw her in here like everybody up in here they should have just put me up in now i really would love to be in one of these shows i'm not even lying like um oh this is good i was i was expecting it to be more watermelon watermelony because it says it's filled with watermelon and fresh berry fruit but it's actually really good again it's literally just juice you probably not gonna even if i drink the whole bottle i probably won't even be i don't even know but it is nice it's like something to sip on for sure so if you guys are looking for some oh i do got that little aftertaste that little i am still a that little acidy, that part that they said. That's the aftertaste. It's still like, oh, I'm still like something. A grown-up drink. It gives you that feeling at the end when you swallow it. But overall, this is something that you can drink with like your meals and stuff. If you ain't trying to drink water or like regular juice juice, I would definitely go for this. Like this is probably something I need to make sure I have in my... um 
house <laughs> refrigerator just for like a go-to you know how you if you want you get those costco margaritas or you even get the margaritas from mariano's or whole foods the margaritas that's like already made and them yellow ones like that's what i'm the, that's what my go-to and then this is about to be on my go-to list so this is pretty good the only thing is that i like that strong rosé that's i know it's gonna get me lit when i'm done drinking it but this is suspect like if i drink this whole bottle i'm probably gonna be like oh okay that was cool so yeah i'm not at all saying it's a bad thing but um just something to look out for if you expect it some rosé rosé like belair don't think it's like that because it's not even a little bit like that Shout out to Belair. I got to get that so I can talk about it and get tipsy online for you guys. These bangs is so cute, but I'm tired. Like, I had them for five days already. And, you know, you can't wear bangs for that long because you're going to get tired of looking at them. And they're going to get greasy like they seem now. And they're just going to get sweaty. Like, I went to the gym Tuesday, so it could have affected it and made it greasy. But who knows? It also could be the fact that um my hair came from Unice or Unice. So I might be just a little thirsty, <laughs> you know, that's why I'm drinking this. But I also was going to wash my hair today. And then I realized like, girl, you ain't even got no shampoo. Like you slow. Like I use up all my shampoo and I use up all my condition. That's why I need to go ahead and go to Marshall's. And um, I need to go to Marshall's and re-up on shampoo and conditioner because that's why I get my stuff from. Like they be having some nice stuff like don't get me wrong, like you do, like I always say, you need to have some time to go up in there and look through it and read everything, but they be having some bomb love facials up in there. They have some bomb um, um soap, face wash, body soap, body wash. They even be having that Dr. Bomb is in there. Y'all better look through it. And it'd be like two, three dollars cheaper than what it is at like Whole Foods or Mariano's. Like I'm not even lying. They got some bomb shampoos, some bomb conditioner, oils. They got everything you need. Everything you need. I'm not even lying. You can go get some shampoo and even buy a little backpack, a little cute backpack. All in the same area. You can get some yoga pants, workout outfit, and even go back there and buy some um dress shoes. Like literally, like they literally have everything. You can get a fucking a little sides chair, accent chair. <laughs> It didn't go over there and buy some scented candles. Like, they literally got everything. I'm not even lying. I'm not lying. Let me tell y'all about today, though. Like, when I tell y'all kids, say the darndest things. Like, the darndest things. Like, this little boy, he hilarious. Like, he's so old. He be roasting me. But he just be roasted, period. Like, he be roasting everybody. But the kids in the past don't like him. But every time he try to do me, I be dying laughing. Like, dying laughing. So, he gonna come to me today at lunch. Like, um, it's more... I heard, um, I heard you, that's the wig on your head. And I was like, what? What you mean? And he was like, is that a wig on your head? And I was like, um, who told you that? He was like, man, if it is, uh, let me see. Let me take it off. Let me snatch it off your head. Why would you even want to do that? Like, why would you even want to do it? He was like, this one, you bald head. You, you slow. You be acting slow and you bald head. I be like, if you don't get up out my face, like, if he would have tried to pull my hair, I probably would have flexed him. I'm not even lying. I would have lost my job. Like, I'm not even lying. Like, that would have been OC. Like, he bad. Like, at capital two last letters. But he is a kid that you, um, cannot stop laughing at. Like, he, he got the personality that you are just drawn to him. And he's hilarious. Like, hilarious. He bad. Don't get me wrong. But you are automatically drawn to him just because he can't help himself he really cannot help himself he had all these issues too like adhd and stuff like that but he got this nice cute curly hair and he just be like oh he came in class today like oh miss moore um you ain't even look at my bun he said something about his bun and he didn't even make it in the classroom yet to even give me a chance to look at it more tell me you like my bun tell me you like my bun i'm like dang like yeah, okay your bun nice <laughs> And then another kid, he come in class today with some new glasses. Like, we've been trying to get his mama to buy some new glasses for this boy all year. Like, okay, he can't see, 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 he can't see. He needs some glasses, he needs some glasses, he can't see. Girl, child, tell me why it's 27 days of school left, right? 
this boy come in classroom glasses. Like, what in the fuck? Like, what the hell you expect us to really be doing in the last 28, 26 days of school? 27 days. Well, yeah, today is 26. So, yeah, 26 days of school. What do you really expect us to be doing? Like, he needed some glasses, like, two back in January. And we really up in here, like, converting and learning and doing all of this stuff that second graders do. Like, it's 27 days. What you really think we finna be teaching? Like, why? 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 Like, it don't even make no sense. It don't make sense. I don't understand, y'all. I don't understand. Meanwhile, I got this fish in the refrigerator that I need to cook. And I just don't want to. Like, I'm low-key about to make me some choke tacos. Y'all know, like, some choke sandwiches when it was just, like, literally meat and cheese and the bread. I finna make, I just made that up off the scratch. So if I ever hear somebody else in the world saying choke tacos, I know y'all stole it from me because that was my thing and I made it up. Choke tacos. It's just finna be soft shell, the fish, and cheese, and taco sauce. That's low key how I eat my tacos anyway. I'm not even lying. I eat my tacos. I like tomatoes, sour cream, and cheese. I literally don't like lettuce. I fucking hate lettuce. I eat salads a lot, but I would rather eat a spinach salad. Like, I love me some spinach. Like, I can straight up just eat spinach, like, straight up, like, um, Popeye. Like, and it's so funny because back when that show Popeye came out, nobody liked spinach. Like, I remember as a kid, everybody was just, like, gross. Like, yuck. Like, we used to, they used to try to confuse us and act like spinach was greens and stuff. And we knew the difference. Like, y'all know greens is, like, flame. And it's always been flame. But spinach, no, I don't know about that. Meanwhile... I got two more days to the weekend. Today is Wednesday. Stay tuned for my future videos. I got a Teacher Life Diaries. Teacher Life Diaries 2. Um, my headband wig from Eunice. My facial. I got some new facial Evian Healing. If you check my channel, I got a video on Evian Healing, the first facial kit that she came out with. And she got three new brands that's up at Whole Foods the other day when I saw it I almost fell out because I was like, yes. Even though they're about $30 a box, but whatever. I ended up grabbing that. And so I'm going to do a video on that. I'm doing a video on my Teacher Life Diaries. Probably going to drop tomorrow. Um, I just dropped a video today on face turmeric face, facial. So go ahead and tap into that. Well, not today. Well, it dropped today because today is the 12th, but I recorded it like a long time ago. But anyways, that's out. Um, What else? So by the time you see this video, it would have been out like a couple days ago. Uh, What else is coming out? What else is coming out? I keep telling myself I'm going to do a time-lapse video of me sketching and painting, but I'm never in this right spot to do that. Like every time I want to do it, I never have my canvas or I never have my light. I never have the production to get it done. Like I, I can do it cause I can, you know, I can sketch and I can paint, but the production and the placement of my camera and the lighting, I'm always unprepared. But I'm gonna do that before the summer is out. So definitely I'm gonna hop into that. I also, is gonna, I also am going to um start some sipping paint. So y'all gonna catch that on my YouTube channel too. What else? I'm trying to think of some, oh, I got a bunch of teacher ideas that I'm going to do for my channel, especially over the summer. And like, um, my first year teaching, like what was my idea for it? Did I have some bad ideas? All that type of stuff, my future ideas. And yeah, for <laughs> the darn students say the darnest things. Um, and, uh, I got another one that's coming out that's like, um, embarrassing things or toxic teacher moments. Like I'd be wild and like somebody, a kid told me like, um, if y'all watch that other teacher video, a little boy, the little same little boy that be roasting, talking about he had pulled my hair. Uh, he um, he was like, "Miss Ma, you you slow, and I'm, or you annoying." And I'm like, "You annoying!" Like telling the kid he annoying. I'm even lying. I be dead serious when I be saying that. So just a, a lot of stuff. Like I be telling them they slow. Like you too slow because I got that from him. Like <laughs> it's so funny. Like stuff like that. So just keep it, man. Um. It's supposed to be funny stuff. Like, none of the stuff that I actually did hurt anybody feelings, any other kids feelings. So, but it's going to be funny. Like, stuff that black teachers say to kids. Uh, toxic teacher experiences. That's what they would call it. Like, I mean, ain't no perfect teacher, of course. But toxic teacher experience. Me being myself with the students and they love it. They can't get enough. Like, I'm really going to miss them over the summer and they probably really going to miss me. Pro probably. 
I'm 1,000% sure. Me and my nephew about to be 10 tomorrow, the 13th, and my daddy's birthday is the 14th, and I ain't buy nobody none. <sighs> There's that. But, um, yeah. You know what I'm going to do over the summer? I'm going to learn how to make stickers. Like, I think that's super dope. Like, I was watching another YouTube video, and she was making stickers from her sketches. And I'm like, wow, like, that's some creative, that's creativism. Motherfucker. Like, you can really market that. Like, you can really market that. So, that's dope. I want to get my website off the ground. Well, it's already off the ground. I just got to update it. I'm literally just paying for a website that I don't even use. I mean, I got the, um, I own the domain, all of that good stuff. Do I? What? I don't even remember, but I'm paying for my niece's website and my most, my website that I don't even update. So she like he been encouraging me to like get back into my website. My sister too. My sister be giving me all these ideas that I can do over the summer, especially when I'm not working at the school. I need to be, um, it was to still bring in some income, so I'm looking at stuff like that. But I definitely need to update my website for sure. So that's my plan for the next two weeks. I'm also looking for a new place. I want to move to the West Loop. But, you know, whatever God places me, I'd be thankful. As long as he places me up out of this, you know? Meanwhile, I need to um get to work early tomorrow because I I got I was looking at this everyday math book and they got the all these pages that they need to finish and um and do testing with it's like a end of the year assessment or something like that and it's like about twenty pages so I want to be able to like package it perfectly. We're also did I say you guys were raising butterflies like that's sick, but yeah. The greatest second grade teacher ever. Chop that. Mm. And we're growing plants and they're growing. Most of them plants are growing. Like, I'm not sure what the kids did when um they put their seeds in there. Because it's like, I got 15 kids and about 10 of them got little sprouts coming out. The other five is hurting. Another thing is I'm trying to... I'm gonna be 29 this year, and I really want to go to Vegas for my birthday. But those flights, like, they taxing. They taxing because of the world opening up, and they know people opening the open to traveling and stuff like that. But I really want to go to Vegas. Like, I'm literally might just fold and pay that um two plus for a round trip ticket to Vegas because ooh, I want to go. Like, I definitely do not want to be in Chicago for my 29th birthday. And I'm definitely, I definitely cannot be in Chicago next year for my 30th because, you know, I got to turn up. Even when I'm, if I'm by myself, I really would like to go overseas to like Italy or like, because I want to do like, you know how they be having like brunch or like tea and stuff like that. Like, I want to dress up just like the nanny. Yeah, I know y'all watch the nanny. She be fresh. I want to dress up and dress like her, but I want to be over in Italy doing it <laughs> because she got that little cute style and I, I think it's so cute. So that's my 20th birthday goal. If I'm not pregnant by then, I'm definitely going to be overseas with it. And yeah, just, just experiencing life over the summer, especially if I guarantee my life to like children and teaching and stuff like that. I just want to get it. I, I just want to do it, you know? I'm happy. I'm, I'm in a very happy place in my life. I finally found where I'm supposed to be, and I finally found my purpose in life. Even even like even if I begin mad at them kids and they they really be like making me upset, I really can genuinely say that I'm happy to go to work every day. Like I'm happy to um I'm happy to be there. Like they crack me up. Like I laugh when I say I laugh all day long. Like I laugh all day long, and I make them laugh all day long. But I also got to get serious with them. So. I got to have, like, a middle ground. Like, okay, I'm not playing. Well, and then it's a time where it's like, okay, we can play. We can talk. We Y'all can talk my ear off. And I can try to listen to five of y'all talk to me at the same time. Even though I can't because I'm not a robot. But, hey, they think. I, they, that's what I'm trying to think. And then you got this another little kid that's like, 
I was straight up be like, okay, I cannot talk to you right now. But Miss Moore, I can't talk right now. But Miss Moore, Miss Moore, I can't talk right now. And he would repeat to himself the exact words over and over and over about six times. And I literally got to be like, okay, look. <laughs> like, because he, he don't care what I'm saying. He want my attention. He want it now. And it's it's crazy. So that's how I know they're going to remember me forever. Like, it's a for, forever thing. It's cool. Girl. I like it. But yeah, y'all, that's sad. This is the, uh, I'm talking y'all ear off. <laughs> but this is the Kim Crawford when This is probably like my third glass and I still haven't felt anything. It's just good to drink. Like, I enjoy this. Like, I can drink. Like I said, this is something that if you want to order something, like, extra, you want to be extra at a restaurant or you want to be extra somewhere, it, don't, it ain't expensive at all. So don't think that I, I'm not gonna say if you want to be fancy or bougie or whatever. But if you want to be fake fancy, this is something that you can order when you're out. If they have it on the menu anywhere, or in the house, if you cooking something, if you want to make it look all upscale, <laughs> guess this. This is definitely something to chill with, eat some, eat some dinner, drink this, and relax. But yeah, guys, that is that. That's my review on Kim Crawford's rosé. She may have some wine that tastes completely different, but I was in the mood for some rosé. It, it really tastes good, I'm not lying. So, as you know it, I'm Tara J. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'm out. Peace.